All right, going over the ingredients, super simple. Right here, got that Frank's Red Hot. This is the original. This right here, we got one cup. Right here, we got a half a cup. This is salted butter. We got one tablespoon, look, one tablespoon of honey. And then we got that W sauce. We got a tablespoon of this W sauce too. I like it, I like what this does to it, so I put just a tad bit more. Just in case you guys out there looking at it, talking about, hey, that looks like more than one tablespoon. And then right here, I got three pounds, like three, a little bit under four pounds of, uh, you know, chicken wings. You know what, you got the drumettes and the flats. You know, super simple. And to top it all off, we're gonna dump it all in here and we're gonna mix everything in here and this is what we're gonna cook it in. You can't get no easier than that. All right, look, you see that right there, that discoloration inside of the uh, the porcelain pot? You know, crock pot liners will help that out tremendously. You know, like prolong it, uh, easy cleanup, stuff like that. So first thing I did was just went ahead and, and just put the, uh, the chicken wings, you know, in the crock pot, just set that off to the side. Now it's time to go ahead, you know, get our butter and you know, that's gotta be melted. As you can see, it's melted right there. So now, all you got to do is really take all of the ingredients and dump them into a bowl and then use a whisk and, you know, mix them together. So that's just me. I started with the Frank's Red Hot, you know, uh, hot sauce. Then I come with the butter here. Obviously, that's the, uh, the, the honey. Go ahead, add the honey and then that W sauce. Now, once you add your W sauce to it, go ahead, grab your whisk. And then listen, because we got that melted butter and, you know, that butter along with that hot sauce, you're going to have to probably whisk this together for about about a minute and a half you know what i mean about 90 seconds just constantly moving it and then after that you'll see everything has been blended properly and the rest is really self-explanatory from here on out it's a crock pot recipe you know these are really like dump and go so now we take our you know our buffalo sauce and we just go ahead and coat it all now listen we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of that salt you'll see that coming up next you know that salt just enhances the flavor you know not too much just like a pinch and then you got to use that uh, black, you know, that black uh, fresh ground pepper. That right there is another, you know, that's another pro tip, you guys. We got to start using, you know, pepper and salt just in increments and then we taste it. Now, I had some people waiting in the background. You guys don't see them, but they was waiting for it. When they tasted it, they loved it. Said it was kind of like different. And I said, that's probably because I put that extra W sauce in there. Now, after I give everything a stir, before I put the lid on, I like to hit it just so I can see some of that black pepper on the top and just another, you know, a pinch of that uh, kosher salt. And now it's time to set it. Listen, you can set it from three to four hours and you can set it on low. I set this on four hours, but I can tell you those were small chicken, uh, chicken wing parts. So they should have been like about three hours. And now when I went that extra hour, you can see right here, look at the sauce. It's kind of thin, you know, that's that extra hour. Had I taken it out because they were fully cooked. But you want to talk about cooked down to the bone with that flavor. This is it right here. <clears throat> so now you want to take them, get yourself a, you know, a baking sheet with a cooling rack on the top and just go ahead and put your chicken wings on top of that. And then you want to. So when I went this far, this is what I did. I went ahead and added some of that Frank's red hot, you know, sauce on top of that. And then we're going to put them into the uh, oven. We're going to use the broiler feature because we just want to bake it. Now listen, when we when we want to broil it, so what we want to do is we just want to broil it for about, I'm going to say about three, three minutes maybe, but you want to keep your eye on it. You know what? Make sure you preheat it. You know what I mean? So when you stick it in there, maybe two to three minutes, you just want to watch it. Once it's baked on there, you bring it out. This is all about the presentation and having that sauce on the outside. So there it is, you guys. Real easy, super easy to, uh, to make. You know what I mean? And you talk about delicious. So all you guys out there that love these buffalo wings, well, here you go. You can't get no easier than this. You put these out.